Hey, it's Clay, and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol FET. We will take a look at the 30 minute time frame. Real quick, what do I mean by 30 minute in case maybe you're new to charts? Instead of each one of these candlesticks here representing one day's worth of price action, which is what you would normally see, each one represents 30 minutes. So while this here may look like several days worth of time, it's actually today's price action broken down into 30 minute time slices. I like to do this time frame thing does a good job of telling the quote unquote story of the price and then makes mapping out levels of support and resistance a bit easier to see. I don't mean to state the obvious, but I will anyways. Very nice movement today, not only from the price action perspective, but you look down here at the volume, well above average volume on the day, so a lot of eyeballs on this one. So let's map out some levels of support, and then we can talk areas of resistance. The first level of support is what I would call the ideal level, meaning if you say, hey Clay, what would make this chart look the absolute strongest going forward? And that would be if the price could stay up here above $5.60. Now don't get me wrong, if the price falls below $5.60, I'm not saying the entire chart is destroyed or ruined or anything like that. But yeah, if the price could manage to stay up above that level, that would definitely be a huge sign of power going forward. Taking a step back and looking at things from more so the big picture point of view, that is where the purple line comes into play, the famous 50 period simple moving average, keyword being moving. As time goes by, this line here is going to move itself higher and higher. So a very basic and highly effective way to judge the health of the move, that right there being defined as the move, just watch that purple line. As long as the price stays above that line, as the line itself moves higher and higher, then the bulls are in full health, the bulls are in full control. However you can best visualize that, that is what is being represented. Again, yeah, staying above 560 would be great, but from the grand scheme of it all, as long as the price is above that green line, uh, then, or excuse me, up above that purple line, then the bulls 100% own the chart. As far as where the sellers are at, nothing complicated there other than the fact that the Bulls tried on a couple situations to get up through that 605-ish area and couldn't quite do it, so that'll be public enemy number one going into next week. All in all, though, anyway, look at it. Great movement today, well above average volume, and as long as the price keeps on uh, chipping away and building those higher bases, that's the name of the game. So we'll see how this one continues to play out next week. One of the biggest questions I get is, hey, Clay, how do you find the stocks that you trade? So what I've done is put together a free resource guide where I talk about the tools that I use to locate stocks that I find interesting and think may have potential. So if that sounds like something that could add value to you as a trader, then click on the image that is up on the screen right now, and I will email you the guide. The guide itself is very short and to the point, and best part, it's completely free. Thanks for watching the video. Let me know if you have any questions.